Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. So today's video, I'm gonna be tackling another one of the challenges from the Elvis crop for my little scrapbook store. So what we're gonna do is challenge number 23, which is it's now or never. And for this one, it has to deal with time, okay? So I'm trying to find it as I have it on the screen there. Um, basically, you just have to use either like a clock or the mention the word time. Something, yeah. That includes a clock or time related items. That's what it is. So I'm using, I'm back using the wherever collection. And I'm using the other half of the page that I used the other night. Um, on the layout, I'm just using the, the part that we had left over. And I'm going to put it basically like right in the center. So initially, um, I had switched over my glue. I filled this bottle up. And what I didn't do was make sure that I had unclogged the top. And so that's why I had to use my um, pickup tool there to get it back open so we can get some glue out and that's gonna go right there and then I'm gonna take these frames now I did have to use some um, powder from like when you prep your paper to um, do embossing I use that powder to make these frames non sticky okay and I did that so I could l move them around uh, lay them out and get an idea where I wanted everything to go because if you put them down sticky obviously once they're down they're down so again um, the the internet was not playing nice to me so I started laying down some of these clocks and these clocks I got from um, I have the collection right here from my little scrapbook store this is um, a a was it a l and create maybe all and create but this is uh you get like 60 pieces and it's all different clock shapes some with like a black outline some without so i just grabbed the ones that i was liking as far as um with little black trim and then i grabbed out the title which is gonna be it's time escape I'm gonna make a two I'm gonna use a different like sticker to put the the two in between so I'm like okay I like the bigger clock there we can put the little clock up here with this other one really going for the time so it's like it's, it's time to escape to paradise and I just think that photo is paradise <laughs> so it was perfect so this is from the doodle bug alphabet soup collection this is the black so that's what we're going to use for the the two in between so we're going to start laying this down okay so i'm taking the pieces um trying not to move them as as much as i can they probably do shift just a little bit but i'm trying to make sure that i keep everything basically where it was so that way when we put the photo down it's going to fit right back in the same spot. Now, I don't know about everybody else, but if you look at these frames, you get so much with it because there are pieces in between each frames that almost look like Polaroid type shapes. And you can use those on um, layouts as well. If you wanted to, you know, highlight a certain picture and have it be framed, whereas other pictures on the layout may not be. Um, you can do that. They give you actually a little centerpiece that you can even use. So you get a lot of option with these, uh, with these frames. Now for this piece, I'm going to wind up using foam squares around the area where I want to put, uh, this clock. So that way it's lifted up and the wood piece is, you know, the, uh, chipboard frame isn't going to bother anything. And then, so we're going to lay that there. 
and then I'm trimming down the photo. I want to make it three by three fourths by five and three fourths. And the part of the photo that I really enjoy, which is the water, I try not to cut that edge off. There's a little bit on the land side, so that's what I trimmed off. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and put this on. This piece of paper was the other half of our 6x8 sheet that we used. So I'm just using the same one. And that wet glue, I'm telling you, it gives you enough time so you can adjust and move and have everything lay just right. And now I'm going to put some foam on the back. I'm using my big roll with the um, in the color black. I'm going to have to see if I can get Michelle to order me some more. <laughs> because I really love this foam. And I'm going to be sad when my roll go get, runs out. I'm like, I have not wasted any of this. I've used both colors the white and the black phone tape like th it was awesome that was probably one of my best buys for sure okay so now that we got the photo down now we're going to start layering our sentiment in the center and really if i didn't want to use the clocks i didn't have to though the sentiment that i use which is it's time would have been enough that could have been it it's just, it mentions time, right? But I like the clocks that came in that um, paper collection. And I felt like it kind of went with this, with the background, the um, solid sheet that we were using. And um, it really just ties in more so the whole time idea to uh, this layout. And I'm just using the wet glue on all these elements, the two in the center. I even put some glue on there just to make sure that they don't slip off over time. And then I started to look through like the chipboard elements, um, some more of the laser cuts. And I'm like, you know what? I want to use some of these flowers. They're really pretty. <clears throat> so I decided to go to the mini version because they have the 6x12. And then in the pouch, they had sort of like the miniature version of those same laser cuts so I'm like you know what I can use those I should cut them in half so by cutting them in half it allows me to put them just peeking from underneath the photo so it just adds a floral element and it doesn't have to be um like it's overdone I think leaving it as one big piece was too much but by um, separating it into the two halves, we're able to have a little bit peeking out on all four sides. And it just adds to like the one side. I was like, wait a minute, that might have been part of a tree up there. <laughs> but it, I just like the way it looked. And then really... I think that's it. I think that's all we need. You know, it, sometimes less is more. And um, then you start looking through stuff and you realize, I could have used some rub-ons. <laughs> How can you do a 49 market layout with no rub-ons, right? Okay, so I'm going to grab, there's this long line, it almost looks like, um, like a ruler. I'm grabbing two of the colors, it's brown and blue. And I'm going to cut the long strip so it'll go along the bottom. And then I'm going to also grab a couple of like compasses looking elements that we're also going to put down. So we're just going to rub this on real quick. It doesn't take long. Um, this is really super simple. And then I'll just take my time pulling it up in any spot where it doesn't lay down. I'll just rub real quick and there you go. And it's just a little subtle element that looks really nice at the bottom there. It just finishes it off, I think. And then I'm going to put this element here. And then I'm going to grab one more. I think I wind up finding one on the larger 12 by 12 sheets. 
because I was thinking about using one of these and maybe the small map. You'll see me. I'm going to lay it up, but I'm like, nah, I don't need to do all that. I'm like, this is what I need is just another black element. And then I found it right there. So it has a north, south, west, and east symbol. And that's what we're going to put right there next to paradise. <laughs> that way we know how to find it, right? And we're just going to rub that down real quick. And there you go. And I could have found one more like little element that we could have put down. But it, I was like, you know what? Just leave it. Leave it alone. Um, I like my title. And I like those two little elements. And let's get some splatters on here. So I'm going to use, <clears throat> it's the... Let me get I got it right here. It's the mica stain. This is juniper berry in the blue. And then I'm also going to spray or do the um, white picket fence. This is the distress stain. And then I'm going to hit with some gold. And I'm even going to do some black on this one. And the, um, the color that I probably would normally not use would be the blue like I could have used the blue for my black layer but I did add some black splatters because I wanted to tie in the lettering the um, black around the um, clocks and my other little symbols all right so thank you guys so much um, if you haven't already, please consider hitting the subscribe button, giving this a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, let's leave the questions down below. I will gladly answer those for you and be glad to go over. And then I was trying to find, um, I want to say it's my checklist because I, you guys know I've had this goal of doing every one of the 24 challenges. And as of this video... I think I still had nine left, but this is helping me get closer to that 24. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you all so much. Um, like I said, please consider hitting that subscribe and like button, and I will see you guys with our next video. Have a great weekend.